So today I'm going to be drawing one of the famous characters from the Aristocats. Walt Disney's the Aristocat. Sorry, yeah, the Aristocats. Thomas O'Malley. That's got to be the guy, isn't it? He's the one that stole the show there. Voiced by Phil Harris. Same guy that did Baloo the Bear in the Jungle Book. So just basically get the cat shape right to begin with. He's got a beautiful smile there, hasn't he? And these bit of tufts of hair that all the cats seem to have, especially those, the young ones that belong to Duchess there, that are no relation to him whatsoever, and yet they look like his children, don't they? Um, so he's a Ginger Tom, of course. Interesting thing, I just go and cover over the bottom area there without actually realising it. I'm going to get back and uh, I've got to use the, the rubber on that afterwards to, to bring that around the eraser. Good old Ginger Tom. Great voice as well. <laughs> Good singing skills. Good acting as well. He won an award for that, I think. <laughs> so these are the these 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 are a much better. There we go. Just just uh, wipe that area out there to bring it back to white. White chops again. There we go. I'm going to fill all those bits in afterwards, and. Uh, add more colour over it as well. I need to go over these parts here because I really need to bring out that orangey marmalade colour that uh, is the right look for him. So I'm finding actually as I used at one time is rather than use the black pen to begin with or any black pencils uh, it's quite a good idea to, to use like browns and oranges for this particular colour there because when you're colouring in you're not leaving behind too many dirty marks or black marks from the HB pencils or H pencils or whichever ones you use. Yeah, we need plenty more colour in here as well. You can go deeper with this orange. These are the watercolours. It's tempting to want to get a brush out and they will they actually bring out these the colours so much more as well afterwards, but I quite liked how it, it, it looks. Uh, as it's been penciled in and it starts if you notice that the the more you use it the more of a texture you get out of it as well so it's it's worth adding we'll add some browns in as well for shadows and highlights and although this is really a, a, just a cartoon character um, it's quite nice to actually add any other dimensions into it as well. So we can now go around with the black pencil. Um, yeah, put a bit of shadow there in the mouth, the teeth there. That's, that's looking quite good. I was just trying to put a little shine in there. That's not working quite so well. Whiskers. Let's get that about right. Yeah, shadow, definitely the shadow right underneath the chin area, you'll notice on those areas, there's, there's always a lot of shadows. Look at any photograph of an animal or a person, especially a person, you'll notice right underneath if it's taken directly, unless it's taken from underneath, in which case it can look quite odd. But there's always shadow underneath the chins. And underneath there, underneath the legs and everything, underneath the belly. So we'll give that sort of like type of fur effect. I used to do that really good at one time. Maybe it'll come back to me sometime. There's a fine figure of a cat. I always used to think that the the, the actual Aristocats, if they're actually real animals, were probably about three times the size that they really were supposed to be in real life. Add a little bit of yellow in there as well to give it that, it bring out the orange just that much more as well in areas. Gives it another dimension within there. Yeah, more shadow there. And even on the white areas it's worth putting a little bit of grey on there. 
Now around the feet there just sort of represents an area that's walking on, is it grass or whatever, but just, I just wanted to put a, a colour that wasn't already there. There we go, Thomas O'Malley, Walt Disney's The Aristocats. Thanks very much for watching. See you all again on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be up to date with all my latest. Cheers. Bye.